Hey guys, it's Hannah. Today I will be showing you how to make a successful beginner style logo. Now for my first project, I was asked to design t-shirts for medical flight crew in Washington DC. They wanted me to have two different designs so that they could vote on the one they like best. Uh, the three main guidelines I had was that it had to be helicopter related, have the title EMS flight crew on the front, and possibly have the EMS star on the back. So I guess I'll go ahead and show you how I did it. First, you're going to want to go and make a new project and label it whatever your project is. I'm going to say EMS. And you're not going to want to go over 2000 because it's not really necessary. So I'm just going to keep it as an even square. Make sure it's transparent too because when the design is actually printed onto the t-shirt, the space around the design won't be white. It saves quite a bit of ink too. So what I did first was I got the text on there. Uh, I'm going to call mine EMS Flight Crew. And adjust the size if you need it. What I used for mine was ethnocentric. I got this one off of Brush Easy. The first thing I tested out was the new 3D thing you could do. This is only on Photoshop CS6. So those of you who have anything below that, you probably aren't going to find the 3D setting on it. But as you can see, you can pretty much adjust whatever you want. You can see it from different angles too. They even have shadows in the back. I thought that was kind of cool. You can also see it from pretty much any angle. You can rotate it and slide it wherever you want. What I ended up with was this one. Why I didn't end up as my final project being a 3D was because I thought it was a little bit too choppy and the edges weren't precise and I wanted something just a little bit more simple and detailed since it was going to be more of kind of a logo going on a shirt. So as I went through, I tried out different fonts, brushes, and designs. I'll show you what I made within the first couple of weeks from when I started. As you can see, I have a medical star on the back, but it wasn't the one that they originally wanted. Uh, I learned right off the bat that if you ask your client for specific details on what they want, it's easier, it's going to be, it's going to be 10 times easier in the long run. Not only is it easier for you to design the product, but the person you're working for is going to be much happier with your end product too. The line on the back was resembling a heartbeat from a heart monitor, and I did that just by taking an eraser tool and dragging over the medical star right here. The back is just a bunch of different brushes I downloaded that I combined together. My third attempt was actually one that I sent to them just because I thought it was a bit more unique than the others since it sort of resembles an eye test. It took quite some time to get this one done just because of how I had to space out every letter one by one. Otherwise it probably wouldn't have looked like an actual eye test. I like this one because it actually has a quote within it. It says EMS flight crew in the front, but then it goes to leadership is the capacity to translate vision into reality. It's a quote by Warren Bennis. So I thought that was kind of cool. So the best one I came up with took a lot more time than the first few attempts. And I looked up a few more tutorials for this one too. First, I took an actual picture of a helicopter and made a silhouette out of it using many different types of brushes. I also used a brush and a picture to make the EMS medical star on the back. I'll only show you how to make the star because I used basically the same method on the helicopter too. So I went ahead and made a new project and I found a picture of a medical star on here already. If you link these two together, that's just gonna keep the dimensions the same as you. 
spread it out. So go ahead and center it and leave it right there. So next I went ahead and clicked on a brush tool and found the one I that I wanted. I wanted it to kind of look like I painted the sides just to give it more of like a unique look. You're also going to be needing a new layer just so you can put the bl brushes on on top of it. First you're going to have to adjust the size of this just so it can fit around. Then go ahead and mark over it. Now all you have to do is just go around the edges and in order to rotate it just click on this button and it'll give you the angle and the de degree of it too. So you can go ahead and go around it. Then eventually once you go all the way around all you have to do is get rid of the layer beneath it with the original EMS star and it'll be gone and you can add in the helicopter and the text. And then that's how I got this finished product. So overall I learned quite a bit on this project. First of all I learned that if you want to be a graphic designer it's not always about being creative, it's about making the person you work for happy and getting the product that they originally wanted. So that's it. Thanks.